Welcome. <laughs> Welcome back to the Art of a Life Well Lived. I am Christine Regan Lake. It's good to have you here. So today I want to talk to you about self-love. So today's video has really been building for some time because they're they're just I keep hearing this like this cliched line over and over and over again with friends, um, with you know clients, things like that, where the term you know like self-love, you know, um, and the thing is, what's really become popular nowadays is to say to someone, well, the reason you're single is because you don't have self-love. And once you have self-love, then you'll find someone and then you'll attract the person, whatever. So I guess the thing that, you know, I just find so destructive about this, this concept and this, this theme that seems to be going around and people sharing this information is that it implies that like self-love is some kind of like one-time destination that you either have self-love or you don't have self-love. The reality is self-love is is like a continuum. It's a timeline. And it's like you, you know, the more you grow and evolve and heal, you know, and, and just sculpt your soul and your spiritual connection, you know, your capacity for self-love and compassion, you know, it just kind of grows and grows and grows and, you know, it, it's not it, it's not like this on or off thing. It's not like you either have self love or you don't have self love. And telling someone that they don't have self love, like saying to your single friend, "Well, you just have to learn to love yourself, and then you'll find the right person." That is so condescending, and that is so unhelpful. And you're not helping them when you say that. And it's not even freaking true. You know, it's not like the person you that you're talking to has absolutely no self love. You know, they're just filled with self self-loathing listen you can have self-love and still be you know have had wounds that are that were very painful and so you are tentative about dating or you know you you just want to take things slow or you have insecurities about your body you can have self-love and still have you know um insecurities about your body or whatever your intelligence or whatever anything like that and so I think it's just really unhelpful and unproductive to hold this belief that self-love is some like one-time destination thing and someone either has it or they don't have it. That's ridiculous. And so if you're telling, if you're saying to your friends, if you're in the habit of telling people, oh, you know, you don't love yourself, stop it. It's really condescending and it's not helping them. It's not helping the situation. And um, just because they're living their life in a different way than you are doesn't mean it's wrong for them. How, how they responded in a certain situation may not have been the way you wanted to respond in a situation, but it doesn't make them wrong. What's right for you is right for you. What's right for someone else is right for someone else. So, you know, and, what I, and I remember someone saying to me, a friend of mine said it to me, or I don't know who it was, it was a few years ago. And uh, I remember saying, and I just turned and I said, yes, I do have self-love. And I said, you know, every time I meditate, I'm self-caring. I'm self-loving, you know, myself. Every time I gift myself the time to paint and pursue what I am passionate about, that is an expression of me loving myself. Every time I set a healthy boundary with someone who is violating my boundaries. That is self-love. Every time I speak my truth, that is self-love. So I just want to put this out there to you because I know a lot of people are saying this to the people they care about. And they have, I'm sure you, they have good intentions or you have good intentions, but it's not productive and it's not helpful. And you really just, it comes off badly on you because it really, put, you know, it, the, whoever is saying it, it, it really comes off as very condescending. And so if you have a friend who's hurting and you're saying those types of things, it's you're not helping them and it's not productive. So that's all I wanted to say. I'm just so sick of hearing that, that, that cliche thrown around and used all the time because self-love is not a, you know, an on and off switch. It's not, yes, you have it. No, you don't. You know, it's everything is depths and degrees of self-love. And every time you do something that is loving for yourself, that is an expression of self-love. 
So that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you have a good day and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.